This is the only university that has been built, planned, and built by Kenyans. Moore University established as the second university in Kenya in 1984 by the Moore University Act of Parliament after recommendations from the Mackay Commission is located in Kesses, about 35 kilometers southeast of Eldoret Town. My name is Professor Richard Mibe and uh, I'm the current Vice Chancellor of Moore University, a position that I've held since the year 2006. Uh, that's I've been here since that time then. Prior to that, I was uh, a deputy vice chancellor at Masena University uh, for in charge of uh, finance and administration for about two years. And then before then, I was the principal of the College of Biological and Physical Sciences, University of Nairobi. Uh, before then, I was the dean of science, University of Nairobi, Jerome Campus again. Before then, I was a researcher in the U.S., yes, Oklahoma, scientist at the time. The university operates four campuses, namely Main Campus, Town Campus, Eldoret West Campus, and Odera Akango Campus. Actually started back in the year 2003, when the NAC government introduced what we call free primary education. At that time, of course, you knew there were many uh, students who were either were at home because they could not have fees or they dropped out of class three or four or whatever. And then so the numbers that went to, to primary school really rose uh, tremendously. Then at that time was realizing that uh, these large numbers with only five universities, come the time they want to go to the university, where will they go? And that's when more university, we is more decided to see that we do something in readiness for the kind of like at that time we call tsunami sort of. Uh, so we started by opening up our campuses in uh, various parts of this country. We started with making sure that every province at that time had a campus. We central, we were the first ones to open a campus in central province at that time. That we went to Karatina, a place that was underutilized. It used to be actually a farmer's kind of like a manager's training center for uh, tea uh, farmers, mm -hmm. tea managers. And then uh, so we used that facility. And then we were also the first ones to go to the coast. At that time, there was nobody at that in, that in that place, no campus in that coast at that time. Then we also went to. Um, uh, Narok, where people were thinking that maybe there will not be any, you know, people to land there. But then we we started there. Then we actually also went to Kitale. Uh, we went to Kisumu, uh, and I mean Yala. But we were the first ones to take university education to the Nyanza province. Then it was Maseno University, started in the year 2000. Uh, to be a uh, university. So I, there is no place in this country where we are not. Uh, and then, so our recent developments has taken us to Garissa. Uh, and then also we are planning on going to a loop. We are actually in a loop now. Uh, so I don't know any part of this country that we are not in. The university, with the leadership of the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Richard Mibe, has rolled out several flagship projects, which include Rivertex, a textile industry, School of Aerospace, Elimu Maze Millers, Kenya Television Service, and the laptops and tablet projects, which was recently launched. The programs we have introduced, some of them are not found anywhere else in this continent. Take, for instance, the Aerospace Science Program, where... We are the only university that is training pilots. No other university in this continent, and actually, indeed, in the world, there are very few who have that kind of a program. We have city aircrafts for that purpose. We are also the only university that has a textile factory. We have revived Rivertex, factory, which had been dormant for 
more than 10 years. We revived it and we are using it the same way the medical schools are using hospitals, whereby engineering students from classrooms, they go to the factory where they see machines running and breaking down. They participate in putting them back together, running. So I think we are more of a practical, also oriented university. The university has a total population of about 50,000 students from all campuses and as it celebrates its 31st graduation ceremony, more than 4,000 students are expected to graduate with PhDs, masters, degrees and diplomas. Students from Moi University have won numerous awards and trophies after taking part in various competitions such as sports, music and drama festivals and other events taking place globally. My name is uh, Dr. Jonah Yeko. I'm the Dean of Students Moi University. Yeah, Moi University in, in total has about 51,000 students. That is including the other campuses. Um, that are, are, are outside Eldoret. Um, when these students come to the university, they mainly come for their academic um, uh, pursuit. That is to get a certificate, either degree, master's or PhD. Now, apart from that, we engage them in other activities that uh, make them to be uh, well-rounded students. Now, here in the student affairs department, one of the things that we do, we engage them in games and sports. And we have had um, some of our students excel in sports. We have recently, we took uh, four students to Korea. And um, others, the other time we took them to Italy. So that makes them at least be able to be people who are well-rounded in their physical makeup. Apart from that, we also engage them in, in competitions. Um, there are some competitions whereby we give them a chance to display their skills. Uh, for example, the School of Engineering, the most recent uh, um, uh, competition they had was robotics, whereby they went to compete with other universities and uh, other colleges and um, they emerge I think number four um, then we also have uh, clubs and societies now in clubs here is whereby we give students a, a chance to be able to display some of the skills or some of the talents they have uh, one of our clubs um, students in free enterprise we've Three times we have managed to take our students outside uh, Kenya. We, we went to Canada where we won, uh, um, we became number one. We also went to the US. Another year we became number two. Another time we also went to, to Singapore uh, where I think we became number three. So all these, we give students opportunity to utilize the talents and some of the skills they learn in class, or some of the talents they have, so that they can display not only what they have in their in the head knowledge, but also what they can do. And that way we make them be uh, well-rounded up students. We also engage our students to help others, um, like um, we involve them in um, community um, community activities whereby they go out of the of the university to help people outside there either cleaning the the, the, the streets or go to help the in um, the children's home play with those kids some of course take their clothes and uh, they, they, they they get some clothes to go and share with um, with some of the, the orphanage homes whereby they they can assist them. So we have a number of activities whereby we engage our students so that they are not just concentrate on academics. As the Dean of Students, Dr. John Ayeko says, Moi University embraces cultural diversities among students and work towards enabling their peaceful coexistence.
So our students come from different cultural backgrounds and uh, some of them when they come, some, some feel displaced because maybe they went through primary school, they went in one, one particular region, secondary school, and when they come here, they find that they are now uh, mix, mixing with other students from other regions. Now, one of the things that make we, we aspire to make students feel that they are at home, irrespective of their different cultural backgrounds, is uh, number one, to integrate them. And what we do is that immediately the students arrive, we, we have various um, societies or clubs uh, whereby we allow these students to register where they can mix with other students and also begin uh, sharing something they have in common. We also encourage them that um, they should not just stick to their various regional um, uh, groups, but have opportunity whereby they can also exchange. And that's why um, uh, activities like games, here is where students come together. Other activities is where by if there is a, an activity that we, we are engaging as a university, we would like to involve all the students from different uh, cultural backgrounds. Then we normally have once in a year a cultural week. In this cultural week we bring students from, we, we encourage students to come and display their different cultural and um, um, their different cultural activities that they have, how they live, we opportunity whereby we give them a chance to display their cultural wares and uh, maybe cook different foods. That way students begin to appreciate that there is something good that they can also copy from another, another culture. When it comes to um, where they are staying, we make sure that students do not like stay students from one region stay in one particular hostel we mix them that way we give them opportunity so that they are able to coexist with it, with each other and um, whereby we feel that probably there are three of or three or four rooms belonging to the same uh, uh, ethnic group we try as much as possible to to to, to make them that they should ha also have somebody else there that way we make them to appreciate uh, and also learn from each other community. Mo University has various schools which include the School of Arts and Social Sciences, School of Human Resource and Development, School of Business and Economics, School of Education, School of Medicine, School of Law, School of Engineering, School of Information Sciences, School of Biological and Physical Sciences among others. The university is keen on providing unique courses and quality teaching for students in their respective schools, as the dean from various schools explain. Oh, okay, welcome. Uh, this is School of Arts and Social Sciences. My name is Professor Peter Simate. I'm the dean of the School of Arts and Social Sciences. Um, and uh, we're doing well in this school. It's one of the biggest schools actually in, in the university. Um, with uh, Currently the population of students is about... Uh, 3,000 with a faculty of about uh, um, 86. That is the academic staff only. Of course, we are about 140, inclusive of uh, the non teaching staff and other support staff. Um, this particular graduation, we're going to graduate um, about 400 students, of which uh, three are PhDs. We don't have an, a, an, a big number of PhDs this time around. Uh, last year, of course, we had quite a good number, but we are going, of course, to present uh, a big number again come uh, the next graduation in December. So we have eight masters students. This is from the different disciplines because the school actually, uh, you know, has up to about uh, twelve programs. Uh, you know, so they come from the, the different programs of the school. And we will have about 347 undergraduate students who will, will be graduating and 47 diplomas. Yeah. First of all, uh, the programs in, in the School of Arts and Social Sciences of Mo University, which makes it unique actually, is the fact that uh, we, we, we are a, you know, a very interdisciplinary 
uh, uh, school. In other words, we 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 have a, a number of disciplines, but which actually dialogue together. Uh, for example, um, we take for example um, BA anthropology, BA sociology. Whereas uh, these 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 programs elsewhere are just taught like that in within 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 the school, we we have met it in such a way that. Uh, uh, students, for example, taking linguistics are able actually to pick uh, courses that are relevant uh, to them from anthropology, for example. We have very unique courses, for example, like uh, medical anthropology. Um, but beyond that, we have um, a number of um, um, uh, critical courses that actually uh, make us uh, one of the unique uh, uh, schools of arts and social sciences in the country. And these include um, Courses in uh, language pathology, language and speech pathology, which is an MA program. It's really a very unique course that we we do in collaboration with uh, with the School of Medicine. Uh, this is a course that trains uh, <coughs> uh, uh, people in in issues of uh, of, of of language uh, pathology, language uh, 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 you know people who are able to go out and, and treat uh, uh, people with language uh, impairments. They are really, uh, if you like, uh, speech therapists and so forth. And it's very unique in that sense. We, we also, of course, have other programs like um, uh, the one that we run with the, with, the, with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Institute of uh, uh, the Foreign Service Institute in Nairobi. This is uh, MA in Diplomacy and Foreign Policy. It's a, it's a very successful course uh, that uh, we, 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 we teach from... From, from our campus in Nairobi. We, we don't have that course in main campus. Uh, this, is, this is a course that uh, trains diplomats in conjunction not only with the Institute of Foreign, uh, I mean Foreign Service in Institute, but also with Institute of Social Studies at the, at the HEC. And uh, it's one of the most, most popular courses here. Well, we are well prepared. Whereas um, it's true that, uh, um, you know, there's that feeling that uh, uh, most graduates come out of the universities when they are not, you know, that well prepared for the job market. Uh, this this really has a number of reasons behind it, you know, um, uh, which which really I think uh, affects the whole uh, system of, of education in this country. But we try in the school to make sure that uh, we really focus on our students. Our lecturer student ratio is, is still very good despite the big numbers that, uh, that have come to universities. Uh, some of the challenges like um, uh, infrastructural facilities of course are there, but um, there is a, a very serious engagement you know, uh, 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 between students and lecturers. And we are happy because uh, when we track our students who have left this place, like the others going for um, higher degrees elsewhere outside the country, we get very good reports that they're doing very well. Some of our students, for example, um, go and work uh, with, with, with the media and we, we, we see, of course, we see them and we see them shining and we are very happy that uh, they, they come from the School of Arts. So whereas that is a problem, you know, I can't say it's not, but the truth is um, we, we are happy that, uh, you know, we, we feel we are doing well. We feel that the graduates that we produce here you know, uh, we, uh, you know, uh, if you like, uh, given the, the necessary tools, and when they are out there, they they are actually up to the task. The, the number so far for in the school is quite large. We have a population of about um, four thousand who are currently still continuing, and uh, this year we are going to graduate quite a number. Maybe not so large as we did most of them in December, but in this graduation we are going to have an approximate number of 575 students. We also have master students, we have undergraduate students, and we have diploma students, all totaling to 575. We may not be ex so different from most of the universities. Maybe what we do which is different is the quality of our, our products. But basically again, like how we conduct our teaching will be different. We give our students value for their money. 
and they have come back to report on the same. And the courses that we offer, they may cut across most of the universities, but we are uniquely known for in the school for providing communication studies. And in the communication studies department, we have journalism, communication and journalism. We have communication and uh, public relations. We have communication, graphics, and advertising. About this department, what is very unique is that our products are doing very well in the field. In the media industry, these are the people who are leading us. And most of the very big names that you hear of in the media, I don't want to name them, are graduates of this university. They are graduates of this school and this department. So maybe that way we could say they are unique in a way. Then we have also a, a department which offers a degree, undergraduate degree, up to postgraduate in entrepreneurship, which is done extremely well. And they have come up with projects. They are even like uh, the one that won the award, the African award recently, of devising um, a component that could track the vehicles, which is very unique, is a student of my university. So we could say again, that is very unique. Then we have uh, project planning and management as a degree course, also in masters. We, have, we are here to develop the PID but it is done extremely well and it is very good. Not to mention the Department of uh, Human Resource and Development Studies, All, most of the town planners now are being developed from this school. So those are the unique ones that we have and they are doing quite really well in the industry. Yeah. So I want to encourage the community, I want to encourage the school leavers, I want to encourage everybody out there that indeed if it is the degree they want, the University of Choice is my university. Because here we'll give you value for your money. We, we do mistakes like any other, but we are very careful that we serve our customers well. So one is value for your money, and two, we give you practical aspects. By the way, I should have mentioned earlier that uh, in this school now, we no, in this school we've um, We've proposed and it has been approved by Senate. We have now a center called a Center for Entrepreneurship and Incubation, where students from all other, camp uh, all other schools in Mo University, anybody who has an idea, because we know the, young, the talents that are amongst our youth, will inculcate that, we will build it, we will incubate and we will help them, we'll, nurture, we'll help them nurture those ideas so that apart from just the theory that they're learning in their respective fields, they'll be able to add this practical aspect. By the time this student is leaving the university, they'll be already self-employed, they'll already have marketed that idea, will have nurtured it to come to a point where now it can be sold where now they can stand alone. They don't have to depend on employers. So here we are already nurturing employers or employees on by their own making. That is unique. And we want to ask uh, all first years, those who already have ideas, to come to this school, to come to the center. It is established, it is running, and we'll be able to assist them to, to start their businesses because it is enterprise in, uh, incubation. The other thing about our school, which is very unique, and I also wanted to encourage our first years, and I've seen it happen, is so long as they dedicate to what has brought them on campus. And um, what we are doing is uh, we, 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 we attack them to industries. We prepare them first, the skills and the knowledge, the text, and then we send them out there. By the way, I should have also been so much about this school that is doing so well. The industry, we communicate with the industry. We sometimes go out, like my study PD was to find out whether the courses that are offered in the university are the ones that are required by the market. And so I mean, we are using that, guided by the dean now, we send people out there, even during attachment, to get to give us feedback. What is it that the industry wants? Are we offering it? 
And that is also replicated now in the reviewed programs. We have reviewed our programs in such a way that the industry is now taken care of. So that as the students leave, they, they, they are not rejected. They are accepted. We give them the skills that the industry require. When they go on attachment, and this is on record, is most of the time the, the where they are attached, they would always want to retain them. They go on attachment at the end of third year. And most of those employers there, they would say, can they come and finish their fourth year while they are working? And in very many occasions, we have organized for that. We've allowed students to go to Nairobi, our campus in Nairobi, and do if that is where the employer is. We also have these products who have uh, been required by the industry. They write like the banks, write to us. We also have uh, very many other places. They write and ask me as the dean to nominate at least 20, like from every, ev every field, to go and work for them. So we go to our records, and since they have done that well, we just get the first 20. And I thought that one is a good message to the university or to the school that we are doing well. So that is what I would encourage them to take this course seriously and to come to the School of Human Resources. It's a school really to watch. Mm. Uh, as a school, we have been offering various programs which include uh, programming, computing, and for example, in the school we have electrical and communications engineering, which uh, graduated into two other programs which are uh, electrical and telecommunications engineering, electrical and electronics engineering. Uh, as you are aware, in the country we have not been having programs in computer engineering, and therefore our graduates have been the people instrumental in all the computing services, especially the hardware part in the industry. And that means that we have very good expertise within and outside in that area of computing, both hardware and software. Uh, when you look at this program, uh, we are just dealing about uh, assembly of uh, laptops and, and computers. That is a, a small area in the hardware because when you look at even automation in the industries, it is using computers, but they don't call them computers. So we have the expertise, we can do the laptops uh, to, let me say it's like uh, the backbone of the, the project. Now, the School of Information Sciences was established in uh, 1988 to provide a training in the areas of uh, information management, all areas of information management, uh, where ICT uh, forms a key component of all our programs. And so as far as this project is concerned, you know, we have a number of students, six of them, who will be taking part in, the, in an exhibition uh, to showcase how ICTs can be used, you know, uh, in terms of uh, providing um, uh, teaching uh, uh, tools uh, to schools and also uh, perhaps uh, we should also be able to play a role in, uh, in providing uh, skills to teachers uh, who will be involved in uh, this laptop project. The university offers accommodation services to its students in the university hostels and also provides catering services. More University boasts of several successful graduates in various fields of journalism, politics, entrepreneurship, management, among others. I am a product of New University, and I think I love New University so much because of the quality work. I did my undergraduate here. I have uh, I did my my undergraduate in BBA. And I am uh, an accountant, so I, my accounting, I was doing the accounting option. I am also a CPAK. Courtesy of that preparedness of uh, the undergraduate in my university. Then I moved to my university again in this school now to do a master's in entrepreneurship, and which I am practicing even as a dean 
the aspects of entrepreneurship which I'm using so much. Then I went back to the School of Business to do now my PD in tourism. And I was specializing in tourism entrepreneurship. And I, I am one of the first graduates to graduate in tourism. So that is why we still believe that more university alumni, if you could use me as an example, are doing very well. Um, jina langu ni Kenneth Vinyani Simala. Kwa sasa mimi ni katibu mtendaji wa chama cha Kiswahili Afrika Mashariki. Ambapo makao yetu makuu ni Zanzibar katika Jamhuri ya Muungano ya Tanzania. Mimi nimesoma shahada yangu ya kwanza katika chuo kikuu cha Moi kuanzia mwaka wa 1987 hadi mwaka 1990 ambapo nilifuzu kuwa mwalimu wa Kiswahili na Geografia mwaka uliofuatia nilirudi katika chuo kikuu cha Moi na kuanza kozi ya uzamili ambapo nilianza kusoma Kiswahili kwa kina na nikafuzu kwa shahada ya uzamili katika mwaka 1993 wakati huo nikaanza kufundisha katika chuo kikuu cha Moi katika idara ya Kiswahili na lugha za Kiafrika na wakati huo huo pia nikaanza masomo yangu ya uzamifu katika Kiswahili katika chuo kikuu hiki cha Moi lakini katika mwaka 1995 mwezi wa Machi niliombwa kujiunga na wenzangu katika chuo kikuu cha Maseno ambapo kilikuwa wakati huo kikilelewa na chuo kikuu cha Moi ili kwamba tuanzishe idara ya Kiswahili pale na nimefanya kazi hadi mwaka na sita katika chuo kikuu cha Maseno baadaye katika mwaka na nane nilijiunga na chuo kikuu cha sayansi na teknolojia cha Masinde Mliro ambapo nimefundisha hadi kufikia mwezi wa Agosti mwaka huu wa 2015 ambapo nimepata kuajiriwa kama katibu mtendaji wa chama wa tume ya Kiswahili ya Afrika Mashariki ambayo ni asasi ya jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. My name is Nathan Ogechi. I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Student Affairs. An assignment I've done for the last one year, four months. Student Affairs, we deal with the students' welfare generally, anything than academic. Although even academic issues eventually turn out to be a welfare issue. So, in trying to ensure that the students' welfare is taken care of, we look at the students' accommodation. The division also takes care of the students' uh, catering services. We have a few uh, dining halls. At main campus, we have three kitchens. And uh, in College of Health Sciences, we have one, and we also have one at the School of Law. Student Affairs also takes care of uh, sporting activities in the university, entertainment, for example, in this year's uh, music festival, Moi University marched tops. So ideally those are some of the areas that we take care of, including matters to do with the uh, students' discipline. And uh, we want to say that uh, in that area we have tried uh, our best because we have not had a major closure of the university for about 10 years. Even the one that we had recently was just a, a brief one. Because this is where we also take care of, uh, that's where students' politics comes in. In as, much, in as much as more university is located in an area that is highly politicized and ethnicized, we want to say that uh, we have managed to contain the situation. Uh, in the division also we talk about uh, the alumni association one that has been in place for quite some time now and the alumnization actually gets on board former graduates of Moi University 
the staff of Mo University, and any other people who want to join the alumni association as honorary members of the association. Our alumni association has made some contribution within the university. In the last uh, few days, they have uh, made a contribution in repairing seats in the library. Because at one point they looked horrible, but now they look good. And uh, at the moment, the organization is making efforts to ensure that uh, the students have somewhere to sit when they are reading and discussing outside the library by coming up with the discussion chairs. Indeed, some of our alumni have succeeded in life in various fields. Quite a number of our people who work in the media are from our alumni of Mo University. And that's why we are organizing a, a major dinner shortly after graduation in Nairobi. Where some of the alumni that we have in the media include one that is known for for doing nice things on Friday even in cold Raburu. People like uh, Sam Gitoko. People like um, people like who? You know the names. In the field of uh, of administration, we have quite a number. People who are in charge of uh, chief executives of uh, parastasals in this country. Vice chancellors and principals of universities, some of them from Moi University. The vice chancellor, for example, of Southeastern Kenya University, Professor Malovi, graduated from Moi University in the class of 1985. The class of 1989, we have the principal of uh, Embu University, Professor Mugendi. Just to mention a few in, uh, in academics, but when you go into the places like uh, the chief executive of Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, Dr. Julius Oma Juan was my year mate here in 1990 at undergraduate level, and later on he did his master's here before he went to elsewhere to do his PhD. The chief of K executive of KWS, Mr. Kiprono, was my year mate here. Also, at the moment, the director of medical services, Dr. Muragori, was in the pioneer class of the School of College of Health Sciences. And uh, in politics, we have quite a number, starting with the majority leader, leader of the majority in the National Assembly, Duale, was my classmate in the School of Education, class of 1990. The leader of the majority in the Senate, Professor Kithura Kindiki, was in the pioneer class of the School of Law. So many MPs, including the MP for Ugenya, they were members when I mean, they were students of Mo University. So what we are saying now is that we are now 31 years, and at 31 years, of course, the institution has grown large from 84 students about 50. There are so many needs that uh, need to be taken care of, especially to ensure that students' comfort is assured.